Yo, what's up, guys? Today, man, I'm talking about the Golden State Warriors and how they have found a new lineup that is just doesn't even make sense. It's just utterly unfair and it is completely lethal. Like, bro, this lineup is insane because they have defenders, they have the shooters, they have the playmakers. It's all just bunched up into really small ball. It really is small ball. But this lineup, I'm telling you, bro, it is so lethal. And the lineup is obviously Stephen Curry, Jordan Poole, Klay Thompson, Wiggins, and Draymond Green at the five running small ball. But as we know, fully healthy, Draymond Green is a DPOI candidate and a top three to five defender in basketball when healthy. So having got the five is not really kind of an I mean, it kind of is an undersized center, but Draymond plays big. He is the glue guy, and he's been the glue guy. So people have been dubbing this lineup as the PTSD lineup, the death lineup. I don't know what's name this lineup, but bro, like you have the playmaking in Curry, the shooting in Curry, the playmaking and shooting and shot creating as well as Curry and Jordan Poole, the three and D guy in Clay who shot create, Wiggins three and D guy can shot create. Uh, what needed and i dream i'm going to do all the dirty work um excel at passing be the best defender on the court by far and like i said just do all the dirty work rebound guard the team's best defender and like i said he does all the dirty stuff the steals the blocks he plays defense tough and he's a high energy guy he will get you going he has that high motor and today i guess the nuggets they showed that when in five minutes of this lineup, they were 22 and 8 against the Nuggets. And 10 minutes of the series against the, the Nuggets with this lineup, they have outscored the Nuggets 42 and 14, which is a plus minus of positive 28. So just imagine this. Like, there really is no flaw in this lineup at all. They have the offense, they have the defense. Like, it honestly just insane how good this lineup is and the fact that this lineup really doesn't start but it comes in like mid game or like start the second quarter it's kind of lethal not gonna lie because obviously initially they start off cover looney at center looney is a solid center he's not anything out of the um universe so just go ahead basically you just put kavan looney basically you just sit kavan looney put jeremy at the five and you just kind of move around um obviously clay to the three instead of being at the two i mean now with pool's emergence i literally been saying this all year but just thinking about it this lineup definitely does overwork Draymond green to play the five a lot especially when he's guarding guys that are like seven feet tall and yeah because Draymond green guarding Jokic all game that is hell like imagine going from guarding aaron gordon all game to now this death lineup having to guard the league's best center nikola Jokic and my mvp like that is insane isn't it this lineup definitely overworks the hell out of draymond green but hey as a closing lineup and as a lineup let's say beginning or middle of second quarter for a couple spurts not bad at all for 10 minutes a game let's say maybe mid second quarter finish off the last five minutes of the game this lineup right here like i said you have the offense and pool clay and curry the three and d guy and Andrew Wiggins and the guy that does all the dirty work in Draymond Green. And it's just a recipe for success. And I feel like we're all kind of just waiting for the worst that comes final to just the sim to Suns versus Warriors. And just see a seven game series of two teams that, in my opinion, are just so similar. Obviously, in terms of point guards, you have Curry and CP3, in my opinion, minimum two top five point guards of all time. You have Booker right now, maybe. The best shooting guard in basketball is all said and done this season. Hey, honestly, who knows? I play Thompson. Obviously, when, when he's fully healthy, he's minimum a top, what, around five shooting guard in the NBA. And then you have the three and D guys in Andrew Wiggins and uh, obviously Michael Bridges for the Suns. At the power four position, you have two really guys that are defensive minded. But obviously, Draymond Green is better at a shot than Jay Crowder. And at center, it's kind of a wash, respectfully, to Kevon Looney as the Suns have DeAndre Aiden at center, which is why you have to go small ball. So they can go ahead and try to contain DeAndre Aiden whenever he's going off for his lobs. So they're getting his post touches from uh, Chris Paul. So yeah, I feel like we're all waiting for the Suns versus Warriors versus the Conference Finals. I feel like that's going to be a movie. 
it should definitely be a seven game series of just pure hell as both teams excel in offense and defense it literally should be poetry to watch and i cannot wait to see how that happens but yeah it all really is gonna go ahead and pretty much end with this lineup like i said for the warriors so obviously like i said stephen curry jordan Poole, clay thompson andrew wiggins draymond green it's the fact that i felt for years now obviously also prior to uh, clay thompson's injury i always felt like he would be good as a small forward as well obviously we know clay's a shooting guard but he's what six seven six seven and a half maybe clay thompson can run the three and he can sell it that okay clay thompson is a shooting guard small forward in my opinion even though he does primarily play shooting guard and minimally play small forward except for this lineup i could see him excelling as small forward and obviously we know jordan pulls a shooting guard curry is a point guard and wiggins plays pretty big and he's a good defender so you can make up the size at the power forward position he's what like six eight six nine he can make that up i like that draymond can make that up at the five just because he plays with so high energy and it's minimum a top three to five um defender in basketball when healthy so we can go ahead and contain the forcing team center and obviously you know this, the warriors have such an elite defense they go ahead and switch on let me put uh wiggins and Draymond maybe at sometimes going ahead and double the teaming um Jokic show another big center that can excel um with Draymond Green on them which is not a lot honestly not a lot at all but yeah this Warriors team is getting literally I'm not gonna lie I didn't expect them to be this good I guess the Nuggets I thought it was gonna be like a six game series but no with this lineup it's just been pure business all hoops go ahead excelling on defense excelling on offense oh my god this really is the death lineup aka the PTSD lineup Oh my God, this lineup is actually insane. And it's gonna be so fun to watch this lineup as players like Poole continue to excel and the rest of the lineup as well. Just going ahead and playing as a team. This is really just, this lineup, again, it's just insane just how good this team could be both on offense and defense. All going small ball as well. Like I said, going small ball with Draymond Green is a really small ball. Technically, yes, but he plays so big. He has high energy that you can't even see the difference between going small ball with Draymond Green. I personally feel like they're better going small ball with Draymond Green over Kavon Looney as well, who technically also is a small ball center because he's more like 6'9, 6'10, maybe. Um, but it's not it definitely does overwork the hell out of Draymond Green going from, like I said, guarding a power forward to guarding a center, switching on attempts to point guards. Like he does a lot of dirty work for this Warriors team. And I feel like he goes vastly underrated. And I really feel like Draymond Green is really bolstering himself as as close to Hall of Famer as possible. And it all starts with just doing the dirty work, doing something that really just doesn't show up on a stat sheet and just putting it all out on the court for the team and being the glue out of the team. He's doing that this year as well, playing small ball minutes to the five when he's literally like, what, six, nine, six, eight and a half. Like, gotta give your credit to him. Gotta give some credit to uh, Steve Kerr for making this lineup uh, obviously be a thing. And Let's put in a lot more faith in guys like Jordan Poole, who now you really cannot get out of the lineup starting wise because just how good he is. The fact that he was a backup to Clay Thompson at that point this year, he was outplaying Clay Thompson, and now you have to really start all three of them. The fact that now with Curry coming back from his injury, he's playing off the bench, which is still weird seeing Curry come off the bench, even though it is because of his injury and he's not, I guess, a minutes restriction to go ahead and ease his way back in, and they're still flourishing even when Curry come off the bench. And Jordan Poole starting, which I feel like should be a mainstay, even though the best take a hit. That starting lineup is just insane, especially the death lineup. It is just a recipe for success, and I cannot wait to see them. Hopefully, the Western Conference Finals against the Phoenix Suns, which would be an absolute bloodbath to go ahead and get to the NBA Finals against whoever, okay? But other than that, yo, that is the proof. So, go down below, drop a like, comment down below. Support me follow me on Twitch, Twitter. And to the boy John. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And what are y'all thoughts on the PTSD lineup? Because I'm saying this lineup is insanely lethal. And wow, shout out to Steve Kerr, shout out to the Warriors. This lineup is just insane. And as time goes along, it's gonna continue to get even better. Okay, this boy John. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out, man. Peace.